Welcome everyone back to the weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar then we'll go for the GFS, the GM, the Eastern Drift, the GFS, Eastern Drift ensembles and we'll finish up having a look at the UK Met Office 5 day precipitation and temperature. Now, it's been a, been a very unsettled day today. We have seen quite a, lot, quite a lot of rain last night and we're seeing quite a few showers once again today being wintry. Um, further northwards and over higher ground. This sort of pattern is going to continue over the next few weeks and it's very likely that we have a very strong westerly spell um, carrying on. Um, we have had hints maybe of it breaking down but things look like they are lining towards a westerly spell. There are hints maybe in the longer term of something breaking down but of course that could just be anomalous um, on some members and operational runs. Now you can see if we have a look at the live radar very unsettled at the moment, a lot of precipitation around all the way around Western Europe, including the UK with a lot of heavy wintry showers around. Even some of these to low levels producing a bit of sleet and growl pool, but mainly snow over higher ground and into Scotland. This is going to continue, um, and we're going to continue seeing westerly flow with very, very unsettled conditions. It could be even quite stormy at times uh, as well, which is, yeah, not looking too great indeed if you want some drier weather. And temperatures are going to be very much up and down. They could be quite cold at times, and they could be quite mild at times. But whenever they do go colder, it's not likely it's cold enough for any widespread lowland um, snow. Now if we do have a look at the GFS, see what's going to be happening over the next couple weeks. Now you can see we have a northwesterly flow at the moment. It's bringing chilly air in from the northwest, but really only penetrating further northwards, giving some wintriness over higher ground in the north. Now beyond that, we do see big purples to our north. We do see a brief ridge of high pressure towards Iceland, and we see a bit of a northerly wind. The cold air mass does spread through quite quickly, and we see pretty chilly air mass really. This could be some wintriness around with that but it does quickly get pushed away and if we have a look at the entry of DHP temperatures we're back into a westerly flow and it just stays westerly pretty unsettled stormy potentially especially further northwards as well as we head towards the end of the run however we do see potentially a bit of a high pressure system building up over the top and to our northeast but once again as I said at the start video this could just be a bit of an anom anomaly, um, could just be a bit of an outlier because we have seen some of these sort of runs over the last couple of weeks and none of them have come to fruition so I highly doubt that this is uh, particularly, um, it's got any support really at all and you can see it's still generally mild over the top of the UK in terms of high temperatures so it could be seeing an inversion of frost stuff like that but no bitterly cold weather. We need to see this high pressure much further northwards and eastwards to be seeing that or westwards, of course, about going towards Greenland. But the polar vortex looks like it's going to be really quite strong holding together over the next few weeks. It's not looking good for any widespread cold weather. Now, if we do have a look at the GM run, see how that does compare to the other operational runs. Now, can see again, northwesterly flow. Beyond that, we see that northerly wind with the cold air mass pushed through. Our pressure tries to build in, but we continue to see these purples to the north, which just stay really with a flat westerly flow. And again, if you have a look at the upper air temperatures, you can see pretty mild in the south, chilly in the north, so oscillating between mild and colder sectors. So it's going to be chilly at times, it's going to be mild at times, um, and yeah, it's going to be quite a mixed bag. It's very similar to what we've had recently. Sort of pests from the west, very annoying westerly winds, not looking great. Now if we do have a look at the ECMWF run from Meteo Seal, you can see again very similar to the other runs. However, as we build that high pressure over the top of the UK, um, and it does build that bit of a northerly wind in sort of four or five days' time by the end of this week, we do see a bit of a scanty high going, but it doesn't really hold on and nothing really comes of it. So isn't Jeff potentially hinting at something like that? But as I said, and as we can see, nothing comes of it, and you can see that cold air mass moves through in about five, six days' time. And we see very cold air to our east, but nothing comes of it, really, as that um, high pressure system never really gets going, never really is able to pull in cold air towards the UK, keeping things pretty, pretty mild, really. And, and if that high pressure does start to build, it could just turn things generally just a bit frosty and chilly um, towards the surface. Nothing too exceptional, of course, for this time of year, but it definitely does look like if any proper wintry weather in the winter months, time really is running out, because at this stage, it looks like at least the next 10 days is pretty much written off for anything majorly cold. Of course, we could be seeing snow, wintriness for a period of time, even to low-lying areas with these cold air masses, but they're not hanging along at all for a significant period of time. We're not going to see any massive snowfalls by any means. So, yeah, time is slowly starting to run out. Now, if we do have a look at the ensembles, now if we do start on the GFS run, now you can see, pretty chilly at the moment, and it turns much milder 
over the next day or two before turning much colder by the end of this week. And that hangs around for a couple of days. Could see some wintriness, especially further northwards, but not exclusively. Uh, maybe to low lying areas further southwards. And then beyond that, you can see the ensemble members all return generally to around average. Some going colder, some going much milder. Operation Ron going really mild, milder outlier there. But generally, pretty much around average all the way up to the 18th of February, 12 days out. Now, that's not full GFS ensembles, of course. But there's no point really looking too far ahead, um, as it is so uncertain, really. Things can change very quickly. Precipitation does increase in the longer term, so potentially low pressure digging further southwards. Uh, for, the, for the time being, not too much precipitation, just generally convective showers, um, so no massive weather fronts. But we uh, yeah, could see an increased amount of rainfall. Now, if we do have a look at the ECMWF ensemble, we'll see how that does compare. Now, if we look at the midnight run, which has fully updated, you can see very similar, really, to the GFS ensembles. Chilly over the next day, then turning much milder for a few days, and by the end of this week, turning much colder for two or three days, and around the sort of 10th, 11th of Feb, all the way to around 13th of Feb, before things turn around average or slightly above average, with pretty much flat westerly winds, and very few ensemble members are going very cold, a few are going quite mild indeed. So, not looking great, I must say, if you're looking for any major cold. Um, uh, and it could be really quite stormy potentially over the next few weeks, which is something we need to keep an eye on for more named storms, especially further northwards and windy weather. Not looking great. Flat westerly flow really is the most likely scenario. So yeah, not much really to change since the, the last uh, video update. Now if we do have a look at the, G, uh, the UK Metal Office, we have a look at precipitation and temperature. Now you can see all these showers, or you see the weather front moves through over early hours of the morning. And then a lot of showers pushing in snow in the north, rain generally for the south. As you can see tonight, they really do peter away, staying a few in the north. And then we see a weather front arrive, just a bit of rain, maybe some hill snow in the north, nothing too major there. Slip southwards, turning things a little bit wetter in places. And then winter showers once again in the north, cloud and some showery showers in the south. And once again, you could see some winteriness over high ground. But over the next five days, really nothing too exceptional by any means. It's just generally continuing what we see now. Winteriness um, over higher ground in the north, rain to low-lying areas, a lot of showers around, a lot of cloud, uh, and could be some more persistent rain further northwards and westwards as well. Now, if we do look at the max temperatures, they're going to be very much up and down. You can see earlier this morning, 9, 10 degrees in the south, minus digits in the, minus single digits in the north. This afternoon, temperatures 7 or 8, 9 degrees in the south, freezing in the north. And you can see big temperature divide as that cold air tr tries to dig southwards. Tonight, most areas will get pretty cold. Most areas getting down to 2 or 3 degrees, if not lower than that, maybe around freezing. And by Monday afternoon, temperatures 7, 8 degrees in the east, 12 degrees in the west, as mild air does push in. Now, beyond that through Monday evening, pretty mild night, actually 7 to 10 degrees. And by Tuesday afternoon, still mild, 12, 13 in the south, a bit colder further northwards, as we have that cold, mild um, divide with the north and the south. By Wednesday, still mild in the south, 12 degrees, but cold from sinking southwards, cold in Scotland. And overnight Thursday, widespread frost in the north, a bit milder in the south, but as that cold air digs southwards, see Thursday only 5 or 6 degrees quite widely, and cold that further northwards. You can see how those temperatures really are, really are up, and, are quite up and down. You can see by Friday, quite a widespread frost as much colder conditions take over with that cold rare mass, but as I said, only last a few days, so it is a bit of a colder spell, but it's by nothing means anything to, sh by no means nothing, uh, anything to shout about, really. Yeah, things just generally look pretty westerly and mild, um, with a few possible, uh, possible colder in, in incursions at times, so yeah, not looking great if you're a, a snow lover, looking for any proper wintry weather, but for now, it's looking like things are staying pretty, pretty consistent with westerly winds uh, as the jet stream really does power up. The troposphere, uh, the, sorry, the stratospheric polar vortex is almost a record strength, if not getting towards record strength now. So this isn't really a surprise, but we'd hoped that this wouldn't uh, wouldn't happen in terms of the stratosphere keep holding on at its record strength, um, really high. Um, wind speeds, westerly wind speeds, high up in the atmosphere, and that is just fueling this jet stream when we have a lot of other climate drivers trying to push us a um, bit more blocked, um, but they are losing the battle. And of course, we are running out of time for any proper wintry weather. So we have to keep an eye, really, on what happens um, over the next couple of weeks. We could still, of course, see a late February cold snap, even into March is poss very possible. But for now, it's looking generally quite westerly, potentially stormy as well, if we do see these lows really spin up. Uh, and that will be something we just need to keep an eye out for. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. you new, and I'll see you again for another video soon.